What's going on guys, it's Nick here, and in this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not just going to be throwing out statistics that you can find online, but it's going to be a little more personal, and it's going to be about delayed gratification. Now this is going to be a video all about things that I've bought, that I should not have bought, or that I should have waited a little longer and really thought about, do I really want this thing, or is it just an impulsive buy? So in this video, I'm going to go over three things that I've bought impulsively that I wish I had not, and how delayed gratification can help you get what you actually want out of life, rather than just a bunch of junk cluttering up your life. But first, if you wanna learn how to be a financial minimalist and how to grow your wealth, hit that subscribe button so you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Now let's get into it. I used to be a very impulsive buyer. I used to browse the web, I used to go on these random websites and find things to buy that I didn't even need. I did this because I thought it would bring some form of joy or happiness to my life where I wasn't getting it from some other source. Now this was very wrong because I should not have been looking for external sources to bring me happiness. I should have been looking within. You can ask almost anyone I know and they'll instantly tell you how impulsive I used to be when I bought things. I would see something I wanted and I would buy it. I was living paycheck to paycheck and this is the first example of why. I would buy stuff like this, a replica Kylo Ren lightsaber. While it is super cool and fun to play with, it brought me about three minutes of joy and happiness to my life before I got over it, before I set it down and I was like, why did I buy that? And that's what we like to call buyer's remorse. I bought this thing because I was under the impression that it would bring me true happiness. And this is what most of society does these days, and it's what they tell you to do as well. They think if I can find happiness in an item, if I can buy my way to happiness, I'll be fulfilled. I'll find true meaning in life because I can't find it anywhere else. And this is a huge mistake. Now I'm not saying money can't buy happiness. Of course having more money is better than not having any money. I'm sure people have told you money can't buy happiness, but those are usually poor people who don't have money. While money can't actually buy you happiness, it can provide you opportunities to buy things that will bring you happiness, such as not having to work all the time, being able to go on vacations with family and friends, and just knowing that you have that security that if anything does happen, it's not gonna put you deep into debt and drive you into a crippling, dark, deep, depression. So while money can't buy you happiness, it can provide you plenty of opportunities that will bring you true happiness and fulfillment in your life. So that's why we all try to get money. Not for the money itself, the money is just paper, it's just a tool that we need to learn to use in order to enrich our lives for the better. Oh, and that reminds me, stick around till the end because I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers. So stick around till the end so that you know how to enter. The second thing I got because I thought it would bring me true happiness is a car. Not this car, this was a gift, but a car. And not just a car that I bought, but a car that I leased. Now this is a big mistake I made and one that I regret almost every day because every day I'm getting into that car, I realize that it's $400 a month that I'm just throwing away. Now I'm not saying leasing is bad altogether. For people who want the newest technology and the newest car every couple years, it's a great plan. But for people who want to try to spend their money on things that will bring them more real, true happiness, I'd say you should buy a cheap car or an affordable car. One you can afford and one that won't bring you regrets every time you turn it on. Luckily my lease is up in nine months. So in nine months, the time it takes to make a baby, I will be out of this lease and then I'll be on to purchasing my next real estate property. Now the third thing I bought that was a waste of money, mind you, not a lot of money because it is something small, was a bag of ducks, not a bag of, you know what, never mind. You heard me correctly, a bag of ducks. Now, why did I buy a bag of ducks? I'm just messing with you guys. It was actually a box of ducks. So why did I buy a box of ducks? Because as I said, I was a very impulsive buyer and this just shows you how impulsive I was. Anything I saw online, I would instantly be like, I need that. For some reason I thought buying a thousand ducks would bring happiness to my life. And for the most part, it kind of did. It's not the worst thing you could buy, but it is still a huge waste of money. I've had these ducks for about four years now and they've just been sitting in my closet. So that brings us to the giveaway. To thank all my subscribers for being so awesome, for sticking with me while I'm still a small channel until I grow to be one million, one billion, or even one trillion subscribers, 
I wanna thank you guys. So to thank you guys, I'm giving away a bag of ducks. And not just a bag of ducks, but at 100 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away a bag of ducks and a stock. I'm gonna be giving away a stock to one of my subscribers that's randomly selected based on the people that comment, like, and subscribe to my channel randomly. I don't know exactly how it's gonna work yet, but I will contact that subscriber, whoever it is, whoever wins, I'm gonna put it in a random generator, whether I have to make one myself or I can find one online. I'm gonna get a random subscriber from my first 100 subscribers and send them a bag of ducks and a stock worth $20. Now I know what you're thinking. That's the best prize ever. And you're right, it is a great prize, but that's just for 100 subscribers. I'm gonna keep doing these giveaways at 100, 250 and 500 subscribers and we'll see how it goes from there and I'm doing this to give back because I appreciate your guys' support so much no no not because I'm trying to increase my subscriber count faster why would you think that no but for real I really appreciate all your guys' support up until this point I'm still a really small channel but I'm growing at a steady pace. So I wanna thank you guys, so this is my way of giving back. So yeah, this is more of just a PSA, a public service announcement. You can't find happiness by buying things, most of the time. Some things will bring you true happiness, and these are things that you actually should spend your money on. Don't be an impulsive buyer like I used to be, because I had to find out the hard way by spending thousands and thousands of dollars that I am an impulsive buyer and that it didn't bring me true happiness. So learn from my mistakes and it'll save you thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share it with your friends, family, uncles, coworkers, spouses, acquaintances, best friends, turtles, dogs, cats, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.